here at the White Line Tarmac Rally Sprint Series, we see all sorts of vehicles. WRXs. Lancer Evolutions. RX-7s. And everything in between. One of the more unique vehicles is this Volkswagen Up. It's number 13 and driven by Glenn Brinkman. Glenn, a veteran of rallying, both in Australia and all over the world, but he is a bit of a newbie when it comes to tarmac, and the Volkswagen Up is on debut. Let's go and have a chat. Tell us about the car. There's a bit of a backstory from this one. Why don't we take it from the top? How did you get it? Yeah, I'm pretty good at uh, buying cars, not real good at selling them. And we just happened to be over in an event just recently in Perth, and we were sitting there talking about this V-Dub Up that had been doing the circuit around here, little club car and everybody had been getting beat by it and uh, I like things that are different. I said, oh, I've heard of a V-Dub up somewhere before and so we got back on the website and sure enough there it was in WA and a couple of hours later and a few beers and we ended up with a car. Now, the, the, the up itself only has a small engine. Talk to us about this car. It looks like we've got some cooling at the back. Yeah, I can't take the credit for building the car, but the guy who's done it has done it pretty, he's pretty clever. He's, uh, they normally come out with a one litre turbo and he's jammed a 1.8 V-Dub Golf turbo engine into it. Didn't really fit, had to move the radiator to the back, but um, yeah, it's a good, well-built car. I'm quite impressed. So is this your first outing in the car? Yep, never done a tarmac event, and uh, look, I've been watching these white line events for a while, and the car had to come back from WA to the East Coast, and it had a lift back to Sydney, and I went, well, couldn't think of anything better, come and try these. There's four more events that I can do this year, and uh, yeah, it looked for me to get experience in tarmac, this is the perfect spot and the perfect car. Now you've been out for one run, and how was it? Uh, I lost a mirror on the fourth corner, and uh, yeah, but apart from, look, probably a little bit, uh, bit over the top maybe, I just need to turn it back a bit and uh, just concentrate on learning to see how it brakes and accelerates, but it's not short of power, so yeah, it's great. Any key differences? This is your first tarmac event, so key differences for the viewers, tarmac versus dirt? Uh, tarmac's hard. Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable on dirt and I feel very uncomfortable on tarmac, but I'm building another car for tar, so it was good to have something like this to learn to drive. And uh, yeah, no, I think it'll um, give me good. I like front wheel drive, so yeah, it should be good. What do you drive on the dirt? Uh, Evo 9, so yeah, much, yeah, pretty easy to control those things. So it'll probably be, a, I'll be more at home with that here, but that's not what I'm here for. And tell us about your co-driver, who's he and, uh, and how'd you meet? Yeah, Dale. Dale's been co-driving on and off for me, with me for 25 years or more and uh, yeah so we've done all the Australian off-road championship this year and just said look let's both come out and have a drive and uh, he's had a drive and he's put it a lot closer to the barriers than me so I'm one up. One up now the white line tarmac really for through at all the events you've done pretty good community here how do you find it? Yeah look I obviously know some people from rallying but um, yeah I, I like the fact that you can just bring your road car out here and if it's safe go and, go and have a crack so yeah no I think it brings all types. And what's the car you're building? Tell us about that. Uh, building another Escort Cosworth, but in tarmac setup, just to do hill climbs and rally sprints just like this. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much, Glenn. No worries. Thank you.